lived in Glasgow for two years, and my, I'm so pale now that I can see my organs in the mirror, which is not good. Uh, but it's good for health monitoring. Like I can get a lamp and check my liver, be like, oh, that much left. And uh, it's good for like other things, right? Being pale as a country, right? Scotland's one of the only countries in the EU, right? Where teachers can write directly on their arm and put that on the overhead projector, and it just goes straight through. <laughs> Same as on plastic, it's avant-garde, right? Heroin. You're not telling me that's not way easier where you can just see straight through your arm, just exactly... It's like a translucent nation in Scotland, like a nation of eels. But eels who smoke too much, let's be honest. I think when they... Everyone smokes. When they brought the smoking ban in, someone just drew a circle around Glasgow on a map and said, that would be the smoking area. Well, uh, <laughs> we'll link all the pubs together, it'll be great, it'll be good for the... You can't stop, you literally got old women on like the Cannon Street with like two five kilogram bags of shopping, doing like bicep curls just to keep smoking. It's like, can you quit smoking for a minute at least? Jesus Christ! It's bad for all of us, my God. I used to live in America, right? A different place. Different. Just checking my legs still there. Yeah, we're good. We're in good shape. America's a different place. I used to get the bus to work, right? I was, one day I was late for work, I ran to the bus stop, but just as I got to the bus stop, the bus drove right past. But I could see the next stop, so I ran after the bus as fast as possible. And just as I got to the next stop, the bus drove away again. But I was in a really good mood, so I did like a little dance on the, on the pavement. And as I was dancing, a car pulled up, and they wound down the window, and there was a black lady inside. She said, hey, I saw you missed the bus. Like, do you want to lift down the road to catch the bus at the next stop? And I was in a really good mood. I didn't really mind being late to work, so I was like, don't worry about it. And she drove off. As soon as she drove off, I thought, now you're actually going to be late to work, and it's going to ruin your whole day. What's wrong with you? Like, next time someone offers that, just get in the car. And as I was thinking that, another car pulled up, and they wound down the window, and there was a white lady inside, and she said, Hey, I saw you missed the bus, like, do you want to lift down the road to catch the bus at the next stop? I thought, well, oh, I can't get in this car now, I look like a racist. Like, why can we, why can we catch up with the black lady at the next stop? And she's like, what the f I said to the white lady, like, why can't you have just been Mexican? I, I,